I'll be revealing the number one cause of hair loss in women. We'll be talking about the solutions and top tips that you can combat hair loss and regrow your hair. So keep watching. Hello, my name is Iman. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I suffer from hair loss and on this channel we talk about natural, effective, scientifically backed methods to help regrow and combat hair loss. So if that's something of interest, consider subscribing. The number one cause of female hair loss is iron deficiency. One study of non-menopausal women found that 59% of women who were suffering from excessive hair loss were also iron deficient. A study published in the Journal of Korean Medicine found that iron may not only cause hair loss, but it will cause hair to fall and shed in a similar pattern to male and female pattern baldness. So let's get into the why. Why is iron deficiency causing hair loss in women? Ferritin, which are your iron stores, is actually stored in your hair follicle. Your hair is a non-vital organ. And when your iron stores are depleted, the first thing your body's gonna do is take away from non-vital organs. Your heart pumps blood, your lungs are used to breathe. Your hair, I don't really know what it does, probably keep you warm, but it's not vital. So your body will start to take from your iron stores, depleting the nutrients and building blocks that your hair needs to grow. When you don't have enough iron in your body, your body can't produce hemoglobin. Hemoglobin carries oxygen for the growth and repair of your cells, including the cells that stimulate hair growth. Iron also optimizes your energy levels, helps to repair and nourish your muscles, improves your immune system, and is overall needed for health, and is a great all-rounder for your health, fitness, and well-being. If you don't have enough iron, your body might develop a condition called iron deficiency anemia. This can cause your hair to shed. The first question is if you have diffuse hair loss, so hair thinning across the whole scalp, that could be a sign that you have iron deficiency and you need to make sure you rule that out. Are you really tired and lethargic? Do you wake up in the morning feeling super fatigued? I personally do. I wake up and I'm like, I need another 10 hours of sleep. Do you have a lack of energy? Is your hair really dry? My hair's really dry and brittle. Do your nails break? And are they really brittle? So I actually have shellac and my nails are constantly breaking. Here you can see that it's broken right there. If you spot those signs or just in general you want to do a blood test, go to the doctor or use Thriver or Let's Get Checked to check your iron ferritin levels. Your iron should be 70 and above. Anything below that could be causing your hair loss. Before we move on to what could be causing low iron deficiency and solutions and tips to increase iron absorption, I would love to bring you guys today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes to help you learn anything that your heart desires. Invest in yourself and your personal growth. My day is full of tasks and long to-do lists and taking the time to actually take care of myself and my wellness just gets to the bottom of the list. But I've been using Skillshare to prioritize myself. <laughs> I watched The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook by Jonathan Van Ness. I was really reminded that connecting with yourself, looking after yourself, helps you to have a happy and fulfilled life, as well as help you to deal with things like hair loss or any horrible other things that we are dealing with. New premium classes are launched every week, so there's always something new to discover. The first thousand people to use the link in my description or use my code EmanBell will get one month free of Skillshare. Okay, so let's get into what causes low ferritin. So the first thing is heavy periods, and this is the most common. If you have really heavy periods, then you are depleting your iron stores because you're losing a lot of blood. The other one is a low th thyroid, and getting your thyroid checked along with your iron stores is really important. This one was super surprising, but makes sense because this is something that I suffer from, is celiac disease and gluten intolerance actually can decrease your ability to absorb iron. Having a lot of pasta, bread, or gluten inhibits iron absorption. Gluten is the devil. 
If you are a veggie or a vegan, you are not getting enough iron rich food like meat and poultry. So this could be another reason why you are iron deficient. The other thing is if you are pregnant. So this is pretty shocking. So you got a 50% chance of being iron deficient if you get pregnant. Okay, so enough with the morbid sad stuff. Let's talk about the solutions because you can combat iron deficiency and iron deficiency hair loss. So it's no surprise that to have a really iron rich diet, food like red meat, poultry, shellfish, salmon, tuna, green leafy vegetables, and whole eggs are a great source of iron. Additionally, I take solga, which is a lot kinder to your digestive system because a lot of the iron supplements and iron medicine actually causes constipation and your stool to turn black, which is not the best. You really should consult a doctor whenever you're taking an iron supplement just because it's dangerous to take too much iron. If you have extremely low ferritin stores, then there's less risk of you going over that threshold of over 200, which you don't want to do. If you did have iron deficiency, the doctor would normally at least prescribe you 600 milligrams. The Solga supplements that I take, each pill is about 20 milligrams. So it's quite difficult to go over that limit and take too much iron. So bear that in mind. I would really recommend having a blood test every three months to make sure A, that what you're doing is working and B, that you're not taking too much iron, causing your iron stores to skyrocket. But it's very, hard to do that. One thing that I found in this experience is that it's so difficult to increase your iron stores. I was taking iron for forever. My iron stores were about 40. I haven't checked them in a while and I need to and this video has reminded me to do it but it's really hard to absorb iron especially if you're iron deficient in the first place. So top tips to increase iron absorption. So whenever you're having iron rich food or an iron supplement make sure to take vitamin C either as a supplement or or citrus fruits. This is really gonna help with absorption. Avoid things like grains, soy, nuts. These foods have phytic acid, which decrease and hinder iron absorption. So avoid these kind of foods if you're having an iron rich meal. However, if you are having vitamin C, it helps to counteract this effect. The other thing to completely avoid, avoid tea and coffee. Cut out that herbal tea or that coffee in the morning if you're having an iron rich breakfast because it really reduces your iron absorption. Polyphenols can decrease iron absorption by up to 70%. So the best thing to do here is to leave your coffee breaks or tea breaks in between meals at least two hours before and after. One last note from me around precaution do make sure you consult a doctor because taking too much iron can cause toxicity in your body it can cause it may cause large deposits of iron on your liver and other organs but if you are really low in iron then this shouldn't be a problem if you fix your iron deficiency and your ferritin levels are normal then your hair will regrow back and you will combat hair loss if your body has been lacking in iron for quite some time, then it's gonna take a very long, slow process. And unfortunately, fighting hair loss and regrowing hair is a long game. I wish it was an overnight process, but it's not. But the main thing is to stay consistent and not to lose hope and you will see results. If you're interested about learning more about hair loss, check out my How To Beat Hair Loss playlist, which is here. And don't forget to check out Skillshare because there are thousands of classes that are just waiting to be watched. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.